Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, man, man, oh, man. Look at all these white people. No, I mean, I guess this ain't the Def Jam, right? So I, I guess I better be cool. Huh? I got some black folks out there to back me up, though. All right, all right. Man, I, I'm, I am so happy to be here. This is a dream come true for me. I mean, hosting Saturday Night Live, I watched everybody. All of them on here, and I was like, when am I gonna get my chance? When am I gonna get my chance? But damn it, now it's my chance. <laughs> ain't no stopping me now, I tell you. It's crazy, though. I'm, I got to talk about some things. The, the daggone censors are following me everywhere around. Wish they get off my ass. Oops, damn, did I slip? <laughs> it's bothering me, man. You know, you can't say this, you can't say that. I'm like, well, how am I going to talk about the world, you know? I mean, I need to talk about something to y'all. Can I, can I do, can I talk to y'all? Yeah. I mean... I, I hope the kids aren't bad, you know, because I got to talk, y'all. Um, something concerns me real deeply, you know, uh, and it's crazy. Uh, and no fella has come up to me, none of the brothers, anybody, has, and act like it's concerned them as much as it has me. Um, the ladies in the 90s have license to cut off the Pilly Packers. <laughs> yep. They got license to cut your thing off, man. And this scares me. Okay, because I know women are mad in the 90s, especially white women. I mean, this is the year where they smashing knees and cutting the pillow packers off. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I feel for that man, though, man. I feel for him, because you took his thing, man. You know what I'm saying? He can't do this. He ain't ever going to really be able to do this. You know, if you can't do this in your life, something's missing. You know what I'm saying? And the lady cut it off, man, and cut it off while he was asleep. See? And he didn't even know it was gone. <laughs> you know, he was asleep, just chilling, you know, rubbing, uh, you know, having one of them dreams. You know. <laughs> and woke up, it wasn't nothing there. Now, what got me about the whole thing was, if she gonna cut it off, at least she could have left it around his bed or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The man woke up with no options, couldn't find a pilly, pilly packer nowhere. You know what I'm saying? What she did to, with it, got in the car. Then she got in the car with, held it in one hand, drove the car with the other. <laughs> drove down the damn street and threw it in the neighbor's yard. Here, he like to visit your ass. <laughs> it scares me, y'all. It's sad, man. And, 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 and how I found out, I, I found a brother. I heard a brother found it. You know, and they were scared because they said he was just walking down the street, minding his own business. He chilling. He... <laughs> Because he saw this, he said, wait a minute, is that a pilly pack of damn? And it, it was white and little, so he had to squint. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't really know, you know, he said, Dad, well, I don't really know that person. He wanted to pick it up, but he said, I don't know the person. So uh, <laughs> what he did was run and get a stick and scooped it up, you know, and said, all right, cool, what can I do with it? What can I do with it? You know, what can I do with it? You know, and he thought, he said, what will white man do? What will white, white man do? You know, and, and, and the first thing came to brother's head was get it on ice. You know, so he saw an ice cream truck, you know, <laughs> threw the pilly pack on some snow cones, you know. It scares me so bad, I don't go to bed without a nutty buddy by my side, y'all. <laughs> Something else concerns me and, and it hurts. See, I'm, I'm single. I'm a single man. I don't have nobody. I'm looking for somebody. And, and but I'm meeting a lot of women out there and... You, you, you got some beautiful women, but you got some out there that, uh, I gotta say something. Um, some of you are not washing your ass properly. Okay, don't, don't get me wrong. Not all, some of you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I'm sorry, because, uh, listen. Now, I don't know what it is that a woman got to do to keep up the hygiene on the body. I know uh, uh, I'm watching douche commercials on television. And I'm wondering if some of you are reading the instructions. I don't think so. You know? Because I'm getting with some of the ladies smelling odors going, wait a minute. Girl, smell this. This you. Smell yourself, girl. Smell yourself. I tell a woman in a minute, douche. Douche. Some women don't like when you tell them that when you straightforward with them. Douche. They, forget you. You cannot douche all the time. You're going to wash all the natural juices out the body. I say, well, I don't give a damn what you do. Put a Tic Tac in your ass. 
put a soot in your ass. Oh, oh, you know? This is like a good damn place for a stick up up in your ass. I'm sorry, y'all. You got to wash properly, you know? And then, you know, because I'm a man, I like to kiss on women. You know, I like to kiss all over their bodies. You know, but if you're, you're not clean in your proper areas, I can't, you know, kiss all over the places I want to kiss, you know? Some women will let you go down, you know what I'm saying, knowing they got a yeast infection. I'm sorry, sorry. Come up with dough all on your damn lip. Got a bagel and a croissant on your lip. Anybody got any butter? I like jelly on my. Well, look here, y'all. We got a great show for you tonight, because I'm here. That's right. I'm here. Crash, yo, yo. Crash test dummies are here. So, yo, we'll be back. Hang on. We're going to be back. We're going to do our thing.